Hey guys, what is up? Moxie1701 coming at you with, I think, my very first review on my Switch. And this is going to be a review of a new game that came out, well, relatively new game that came out last month, called Animal Crossing. Let's start her up here. Takes a bit of time for it to start up. Let me just set the focus over here. Hey, you see me in my robe there, hey? How do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm wearing a robe because... I'm kind of sick, and I've been sick for the past couple of days, so sorry you have to see that, but hey, that'll give you something to dream about. <laughs> anyway, one complaint, this game takes a long time to boot, because all this talking, and there it goes. I'm going to turn up the volume here. Okay. Now, I don't know if you remember... 20 years ago or so, there was a game on the GameCube called Animal Crossing. And they also had a version on pretty much every system since then, except for Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. I think the Nintendo 64 they had one, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if they had one. But I know the portable systems had them, the Wii had them, and I believe the Wii U also had it. But this is the version that just came out on the... Switch. So here's my little banam here. You like my little outfit there? Yeah. Glasses, headphones, and everything like that. Really cool. This is my little house here. I have it almost fully expanded. I don't have the basement or second floor yet, though. Now, as you can see, I've put stuff around my house over here. Decorated. I have designed some tiles to make things look interesting. I have my thermal pump going on over here. <laughs> It's really, really cool. This is a game... Well, you know what? I'm going to show you this game. But I'm not going to explain the whole principle because... You know what? Actually, I will explain the principle to you. In case you're a newbie. Because I'm such a good guy. <laughs> okay, this game is a... You're basically <laughs> stranded on a desert island. In fact, you paid to go on this island. And... You have to build a house. You have to collect money, collect things, furniture, furnish your house, collect wallpaper and carpets and all kinds of stuff, clothes also. You also have to expand the island using bridges and inclines and stuff like that, which I'll show you later. And you have to get your island's rating high enough. So this guy called KK Slider, um, he's not here. I'll show you a picture. I have a picture of him in this room here. The KK Slider is a very famous performer. He was in the other Animal Crossing game as well. Okay. This is a guy relaxing on the sofa over there. Yeah, that's KK Slider. <laughs> you have to convince him that it's worth the time to come to your island. By making everything interesting. And this is my, my playroom. I have like computer server walls here. A little foosball which animates when you play it. So I mean, it actually animates. <laughs> And that skull here is my radio, which is kind of cool. Atlas Moth, little fireplace. You see? These things actually, well, they work. They have animations when you hit them and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. See the darts? There we go. <laughs> and this thing, the screen turns off and on. It's a really, really good game. It's addicting. I mean, collecting all the stuff is very, very addicting. You want to get everything that you can. <laughs> and... Uh, you end up playing this for hours on end. Hey, there's Henry, my turtle. Look. Hey, Henry. Yeah, good morning to you, too. <laughs> I have a couple of switches here. I want, there's one thing they had on the, the GameCube version is that you could get an NES system and actually play a game on it. Each system came with a different game. Whereas these things are just the screen turns off and on, and that's all it does. And this over here cost me 35,000 credits, but it does nothing, which is kind of frustrating. I don't know if you can see on the walls over here, I have all three uh, those happy home things. I have all three plaques. I also have a little trophy over here. I have the gold, silver, and uh, oh, no, sorry, the bronze, silver, and gold. You earn that by furnishing your house with a lot of interesting and rare items, which I have. Here, what's up? <laughs> This is my bathroom with Maximilian, my other turtle. Yeah. 
Yeah, some of these things have funny little animations. And excuse me, if you don't mind, I need to... Uh, that feels good. And... Yeah, the toilet actually flushed. <laughs> in case I want to take a bath in some toxic sludge, I can do that. <laughs> this is the fan that's drying my clothes. Oh, there's my toolbox, all kinds of stuff over here. And I know some people online that have been playing this for weeks because they got a, an early edition before it actually came out. And they just randomly throw things all over their islands and mow down on the trees and they play it through it so quickly that they miss a lot of the secrets. But I have some things here that no one else has, like this electronics kit over here. No one else I know online has that. I don't know if they have the rice cooker, but I have that. Espresso machine, making coffee. Reel to reel tape deck. I don't know if anybody else online that has this particular model. Microwave, a fax machine, old school. <laughs> Vacuum clear. All kinds of stuff. And these two little models here, the model of a fish and the butterfly. There's these guys that come up. One of them is a dragon, a red dragon. You give him three butterflies of the same type and he'll build you a model like this of the type that you gave him. And the fisherman guy, I forget his name, he comes by and if you give him three fish of the same type, he'll build you a model, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, I hope you guys are dealing with this coronavirus thing because <laughs> I'm starting to lose a bit of patience with it. It's been going on for over a month and hey, enough already, you know? I know it's bad, it's sad and all that, but they're dragging this thing up way too long, you know? Patience is wearing thin, put it that way. <laughs> you my guitar? And if you see over here, there's a Jurassic Park sticker on my guitar. If I open my phone, oh, you can't see it from this angle, there's a little Jurassic Park sticker on my phone. You can actually customize <clears throat> the stickers you put on your objects, like, oops, sorry. Uh, right here. See all these stickers? All custom made by yours truly. Not these guys up here, but these guys down here. <clears throat> Including a hat design and a t-shirt, which is kind of cool. And uh, here's Nook Miles, which is kind of like uh, Air Miles Rewards. Whenever you accomplish a certain task, you get these miles, which is kind of cool. And you have different tasks to accomplish, obviously. This is the Critterpedia, which shows you all the insects and the butterflies and fish that you've caught. This is a map of the city, which frankly I don't really use that much. <laughs> Custom designs, I think I just showed you that. DIY you have recipes, do-it-yourself recipes, stuff that you can actually build by collecting various ingredients all over the island. Or parts, if you want to call them that. It's like if I click on this, it tells <clears throat> you need five, five hardwood and one iron nugget and you can build one of these. And this is passport like an ID card, which is kind of cool. And this, if you ever get stuck on an island, like you can't get out because you built a wall around yourself or you got stuck by one of the characters, you can use this to, to escape, which is a nice little feature. And now, oh wow, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> it's already almost 10 minutes. Now, I'm gonna show you a bit of outside. I know this might seem like a random collection of stuff I have here, but uh, the more stuff you have outside, the better your overall island score is because the more interesting your own becomes. And I see this pathway here. I made that from custom tiles. That's kind of cool. I have a little recreation area with a snack machine, a drink machine, a toilet and a phone. Yeah, phone booth. <laughs> that little thing here, that was an insect I could have caught. I have my fossils on display here. The museum is a really, really cool feature. You go in here, and you can donate stuff to the museum, fossils, uh, birds, uh, animals I mean, and insects. Hey, what's up? Here are some of the fossils I've donated over the time, over the weeks, over the weeks? Yeah, actually over the weeks. <sighs> and being a paleontologist, I love fossils, so I have a nice collection of fossils so far. 
I'll just show you all of them over here. Oh, here. Here's one of my buddies from the island. Yeah, they talk funny, just like the other games. <laughs> That's funny. Ghosts of the dinosaurs. Now, this blue, blue spot here, I stand here. It gives me a nice overall view of my museum so far. And as you can see, I have most of the skeletons already, which is very cool. <clears throat> oh, God, my throat's itchy. Sorry about that. Let's go back to see the other sections of the museum. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> this is one of those rare views that's going to last like more than 10 minutes. <clears throat> Here we go. I just hope my battery doesn't die. <laughs> this is my insectarium where I keep all my bugs and some fish. For some reason, they put fish over here. And over here is my butterfly rarium, whatever you call those things. It contains all the butterflies I've caught, which is very nice. I like this. I like this very much. Nintendo did a good job. But when you're catching fish, they tend to repeat a lot. Like, I've caught so many sea bass and freshwater bass. It's like, ah, wonderful. What are you going to do with all these fish? But you can actually do something with them. You can sell them. Yeah, you can sell fish, make some money. And, well, actually, the money is called bells in this game. Hey, this is my friend Tybalt. What's up, dude? And you can actually get points, nook points, by selling stuff and talking to your friends. And this one over here, oops, sorry, the one I just whacked with my net. <laughs> this, she sells rugs. Very, very, uh, not very expensive, but very rare rugs to decorate your house with. Which is very useful to have. This is my water fountain, some fossils. These trees light up at night. Here you have the town center. Yeah, a bit of loading time. We could talk to Nookster or a friend. We could look in the lost and found. This is like the ATM. And you could also redeem your Nook miles here for different rewards, tickets to fly to other islands and stuff. One thing that this game doesn't have, the feature doesn't have that the other ones had, is that you can actually have multiple players on a single system and visit each other's islands. Unfortunately, this doesn't have that. Hey, he's wearing my shirt, the Mox. That was weird. Everything just turned blue for a second. <laughs> and that's basically it. You wander around your island. I have a net right now to catch insects, but over here you see there's a fish. I can actually go and catch the fish. Unless it's a stupid fish. No, this is a smart fish. There we go. And there we go. Good. The whites keep going blue on my screen for some reason. Not because it's just the way this camera works. <laughs> Here's some of my other friends on the island. I could sit over here and work on a puzzle if I want to. Oh no, really, really fun. This game is really, really fun. You can fish in the ocean. I have bridges, which I built throughout the island. I don't know if you can see them in the map in the corner there. Is I can cross these by pole vaulting, but it's much easier to cross with a bridge. And you can shake the tree, collect some oranges, or whatever fruit you have to be growing. And when you fly to different islands, you can get oranges, apples, pears, cherries, and plant them on your island and grow those fruits in it and uh, those fruits on your own island, which is very nice. Like this, these trees here, they're not native to my island, but I bought them from a different one, which is really cool. I think over here I might have to actually pull vault. I'll show you when you there you go. Ah, I'm having a hard time talking, my tongue gets in the way. <laughs> and there we go. 
This is basically the way the game works. See, I got peaches. I know they look like butt cheeks, but they're actually peaches. And I have a little zen area over here, which I made. But you can't really go swimming yet. So that's pretty much what Animal Crossing is all about. You walk around your island, you develop, you find things, you make things, you invite new friends over your island. You can also visit other friends. If you have other friends with other switches, you can go visit them on their island and they can visit you, but you can't have one one player on one switch, which is a bummer. So that's pretty much it for this great little game. I would highly recommend you pick it up. It's really, really fun. And as you can see from this like 15 minute video, uh, there's a lot of stuff to see and do in this island. So hope you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and bye-bye.